Oh my god, these look horrible. All right, what's going on guys? My name is Alex Wittick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are joining us for the first time, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. And if you're not subscribed, then make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. We're so close to 20K subscribers. We're heading on over to AutoZone right now because the Audi TT that I acquired a few months back that I've been making a lot of videos on, the headlights on it, they're atrocious. I believe they're OEM headlights, but they're so fucked up and I cannot stand them anymore. So we're gonna get some name brand or non-name brand. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see what we get, but we need to unhaze those headlights. So let's head on over and I hope you guys enjoy the video and you're having a great day. So we just pulled up the AutoZone. I'm not even gonna bring, bother bringing my camera inside, you know, hands full and all that stuff, but just know guys, I will select the right one. Name brand or non brand, name brand, whichever one looks the most fancy, that's the product I'm gonna go with. All right guys, well they got me good, I'll be honest with you. I went in there expecting better results. The only one that they had for using a drill, which is honestly the only one that would work, is this Mother's one, and it was $31. I probably could've gone to Walmart and gotten the cheaper one, but hey, this one might work. It might clear up my headlights. So I'm excited to use it. Also guys, today's hashtag is hashtag yes, and if you want the chance to have your Instagram shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is leave that hashtag yes, and leave your Instagram in that comment as well, and I'll shout someone out in the next video. So let's head back home. All right, we're back home. It looks like it's gonna rain, but... I don't think it will. So we moved the Mark 6 out into the middle of the driveway. Just we had a little more room so it wasn't back in its little pocket right there. These headlights look absolutely atrocious. They still have the OEM clear coat on there. So that's like basically what we're going to be removing. I've never done this before. So I'm hoping for the best. And uh, these look absolutely atrocious. So the first things first, we got to crack open this box, get our drill. And we're actually going to read the instructions on this one. Because boys, I'm trying to make this thing look absolutely amazing. And I want to let you guys know, does this product actually work? So. Let's crack right into it, and let's hope the TT looks way better after it. So I just opened up the box, and inside we have this solution right here that you put on this ball. We've got a bunch of these pads in the Velcro pad, and there's eight fluid ounces inside that bottle, which is honestly probably a couple headlights worth of material. So that's really good news that this isn't a one-time use, this is a multi-time use, so you can get your $30 out of it. Meguiar's, hook me up with some parts, some, uh, some products, I would love all of it. So hook me up. I'm really interested to see if this works. If this does not work, $31 down the drain. These headlights better look brand new. Look at how hazy it is. I cannot get over how disgusting they are. So I'm gonna read over these directions and hit you guys back up when I figure it out. All right, so I read the directions. They want you to take the 800 grit sandpaper that, that comes with the little pads that stick onto that little sticky pad Velcro piece that goes into the drill and they want you to lubricate it with water. But even to be extra safe, I got some quick detailer in some water, this is hose water, I didn't waste a good old bo bottle of Poland Spring, and uh, this is how we're gonna lubricate it. So let's go ahead, set the camera up, and as you guys can see, this headlight is absolutely disgusting. You can barely see the fixture on the inside, and uh, you can hear that. It's super cracky, and it's just beyond disgusting. So here we go, let's start. All right, first things first, I'm gonna take this blue painter's tape right here, make sure it has a nice edge. We're gonna compare it to the other half. So I wanna do one half of the headlight first to see if this stuff even works or if this method even works. It might all be hopes and dreams with a bunch of failure. So now that that's on there, let's get to it. Slight commercial break. If you guys need any European car parts, definitely hit the ECS link in my bio. It helps out the channel. And if you guys need some parts, definitely just use that link. It helps me out and I'll help you guys get some new parts. All right, continue the video. Now that we've got this tape down, I'm gonna go ahead and take this 800 grit not really too sure which one this is, but I read the directions. This is the first one. Let's spray my little solution here. Make sure I get all this water deliberately on here. Now that we got that all wet. This is results after doing just the 800 and it cleared up way more. There's absolutely no clear coat left on this, which is awesome. I did did go a little light on the water in some spots, so it does look like it burned it, but we'll sign that right up. And also right here, I hit my paint, so make sure that you guys go ahead and you tape off the edges. Don't be ignorant. Throw, up, throw some tape on there. Tape off all the edges so that freaking sandpaper doesn't hit because that will happen. But now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use the 1500 grit. So let's get to it. We got the 1500 all done. The haze is all completely out of the headlight, which is awesome. It's like 95% there. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the 3000 grit, get all that haze out of there, majority of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the pad. So let's get right to it. All right, so this pad, this is the soft pad that comes with the pack. Like I said, this is gonna be general for any kit. So I'm just giving you an over, 
Well, we ran in the Mother's isn't sponsoring this, so I'm not going to give too many cloud tokens. But going to go ahead, spray that all out on there. So now we're done with the 3000 grit. Literally all the hazing is completely out of this, which is awesome. I'm super hyped on it. So I'm going to go ahead, remove the ball from this box, stick it on to the Velcro piece and uh, apply some of that solution. So let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm literally just going to go ahead and stick this Velcro right on here. Beautiful, nice and centered. Then we got the solution here that's more than efficient. Oh, try shaking it up first. <laughs> It's a literally rookie of the year move on my part. On this drill, on some parts, on the edges out here, they don't have all that clean, that solution that I put on there from this red bottle. Now, when I went on a little bit of an angle, since there was no solution, it completely dug into this headlight. I know, it looks absolutely horrible. You can even hear it, it dug in. I don't know if this headlight's gonna be savable, so that's something for you guys to maybe look out for. That really stinks, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and buff this whole headlight out as if I never even did this, and we'll find out how did it do, so let's do it. But just for a comparison check before I go ahead and do the entire headlight, I'm gonna rip off this piece of tape right here, and you guys are, wow. Hopefully the camera picks that up. You can see how definitive of a line that is right there. And obviously when I was doing this, this blue painter's tape was digging up a little bit, so it's not such a straight line, but you can really see inside the housing now, and you can really see these, these are, oh, that is horrible. I'm really not feeling that right now. But you can see how definitive that line is. If you look in here, you can't see the housing. And if you look in here, you can see the housing. So make sure that there's solution all over this. I had my RPMs, instead of being 600, 800, like they recommended, I had them at over a thousand easily. I was being a little bit ignorant. So please make sure your whole entire ball is completely covered. This thing obviously didn't have enough on it. I haven't touched it since. Let's see if I could do it. Let's see how good this setup really is. The 800 to 1500 to 3000. And see if we can get everything out. So cross your fingers, guys. Throw the video a like if you haven't thrown the like already. And uh, let's do it. So now that we got everything laid out properly this time, my tape job isn't the best, but it's pretty decent. Now when that sandpaper goes off, it won't hit the paint. Thank the Lord. So now that we're gonna do that, we're just gonna hit the entire thing. We're not just gonna do half. You can hear the grittiness and nothing. So I'm gonna go over the whole headlight like I didn't do anything yet. Hope for the best, hope I can get those scratches out and let's go send it. All right, now we're done with this headlight on 800. I'm really excited to clean it off, see how it's looking. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the 1500. So man just pulled up in the rolly. Come on, chill. Let's see if that time and effort worked, boys. Oof, those scuffs are literally invisible. Absolutely awesome. The haze on this is awesome. It's nice and it's even everywhere. Now we're gonna hit it with the 1500. This is really looking so good. The haze is so even. You really want an even haze. And what I mean by haze is even amount of scratches. So go hard on it. Don't be soft. Go full send. Just make sure it's lubricated. 1500 time. Oh my God, look at this. This is literally OE. You can see inside the housing, clear as can be. Those little scuffs that I did right there, you can't really see them. You have to be looking for them. So if you guys ever see his car to show or a meet or something like that, you see those scuffs, you know back to that time. But look at the comparison between this. You literally can't even see in there. Look at that, that is garbage. I'm not even gonna scratch this because it's so shiny, but man. That is looking awesome. So this stuff really works. I wish I got the non-name brand stuff so I could have really seen how it worked. And it would have been cheaper too. It's the same concept, scuff pad and all that stuff. But like I said, go go hard with it. Don't be all soft. Make sure that it's lubricated and it'll be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this passenger side one and I'm really interested to see if I can get it just as good. I'll probably be able to do about three times quicker just because I wasn't videotaping it, trying to document the process. But I mean, really, just look at the difference. It, it really just livens the car right up. So I'm so excited. Let's finish her up. 
Passenger side is all done, completely cloud free. Looks OEM, you can see right into there. <laughs> Turned out so well. So it literally is the exact same quality as that one. I took like half the time on there and uh, we don't have to go back, we don't have to fix any mistakes. Now the next thing you would wanna do is probably clear coat it, but I'm not gonna take these headlights out if they, if they phase, haze up again. I now know it's only like a 20 minute process to really just go through and get it done. So I definitely recommend the kit or even an eBay kit. They're all exactly the same. I'm not gonna talk up either which one. They're literally all the same stuff. They're just a compound with some sandpaper. So you can also just go to AutoZone and get just the compound for $10, but I didn't know really what went, went into it with the, all the grit, grit and stuff. So this headlight is all done. And now actually I got a little part in the mail for the TDI, so we're gonna do that in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the hood and we'll check out the results because there's a splatter that goes all over the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up with some quick detailer and that same exact microfiber. And we'll check out the results after that and then we'll check out the TDI. Whatever. Just what I needed. So what we got right here is a five block relay. These things go bad for me all the time. I don't know what it is. Luckily the fuse in the front here by the battery has not gone bad, but this five block, I've had two of them go bad in the past maybe 3000 miles, which is really bad, but they're like $9 on Amazon. So I just keep ordering them. There might be a bigger issue. I don't really know, but all my grounds are seen to be good and stuff like that. It's just these two prongs on the outer, they usually go bad. So I just been jumping it for the past couple of weeks and I don't really drive the car much, but now that I started dailying it, I was like, I need to get, the, to get this. So let's go ahead and throw it in the car. I literally have this thing sitting right here and here's a jumper, the jumper like little cable I made and I just been jumping it. I've literally been going to car meets and well, I shouldn't say car meets, but I went to a car show and a car meet and like right before I left that, to open my trunk, throw this in there and hope that my car doesn't catch fire cause like it smokes and stuff like that. But besides that, we got the right part now, so. I got the right part. Let's hope that that doesn't turn out like the red top coil packs that went bad from dropping them. I didn't drop the red top coil packs, but uh, let's just plug this in before anything bad goes. Oh, I almost dropped it again. It's funny because this literally goes bad so often. I'm just like a pro at changing them, but taking them apart, it's kind of hard. Like this little thing right here is fine, but like this whole like waterproof system right here is a nightmare, but Clipping it together is just a breeze. Oh my God, that is so melted. I right, well off camera, I was able to use two hands more sufficiently. I just plugged it right in. The little melted part is because of the, the little jump cable I got. When this gets hot, it touches the plastic and everything falls apart. But now it's all together. I'm gonna go ahead, throw it underneath where the spare tire goes, where I hide all my wires and just bolt right in with the self tapper that I took out to basically put it in. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and everything's good there. Guys, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, put in our post notification bell so you don't miss out on any more future videos. I'm really liking this and we're about to hit 20K. We might even have hit 20K. So if we hit 20K, let's all jump up and down for that 20K giveaway. We're gonna be doing ECS tuning. Stay excited for that guys. And if it isn't 20, if we haven't hit 20K yet and you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Everyone's welcome for a 20K giveaway. And uh, these headlights turned out freaking amazing. Throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. How did I do? And uh, I'm just smiling. So remember guys, your car's an extension of you. No one puts you down about it. Whatever you wanna do to your car, do it. As long as it's safe, safe, whatever. Just have fun and uh, come back for the next video. Peace. Oh, and for all the people who are still here watching, I appreciate you guys. I'm trying to bring you guys top notch quality content. And uh, I just want you guys to remember to keep smiling like every day is your day. Take it one step at a time. And uh, just remember, like, throw down in the comments, like, how your day is going. And uh, I would love to get back to you guys. So peace out. I really appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Um, I know a lot of you guys are, like, day oneers, and it's awesome. And if you're just joining and you watch to the end, um, I appreciate you. And I can't wait to grow with you guys. So peace out. And uh, I just love creating this content for you guys. Peace.